The ninth and final segment of the overview tutorial concerns insertions and deletions. Insertions are located in the second row of the modeling tools. These tools let you add or subtract volume to your solid model. These operations require that you pre-select the face on which an insertion will occur. However, there is a way to incorporate this picking to the drawing process. In the Pick Options dialog, turn on the very top option. With this option on, you can now select a face with a single click inside a face rather than having to click on two of its segments. Now as you start drawing from within a face, the face will also be picked automatically and the program will know where the insertion will be made. Now let's actually do it. Using the rectangle tool and the 3D enclosure icon, draw a square room. We shall now insert a window. Select the Insert Opening tool and draw a rectangle on the front wall. Observe that the shape automatically goes through the thickness of the solid. Note that with the Insert Opening tool, the shape must be drawn completely inside the boundary of the selected face. Now let's create another opening but control the depth of the hole. Set the Heights pull-down menu to Graphic Keyed and select the third tool which is the Insert Hole icon. Draw a rectangle on the front face then dynamically drag the depth of the hole. Observe that you can punch a hole through the multiple boundaries of your object. The Insert Hole also allows you to draw outside the boundary of the selected face. For example, with the front face selected, draw a rectangle partially outside the boundary of the selected face and dynamically create a hole across the wall. Let's try one more hole by selecting the face, drawing the shape, and extending the hole to subtract the top left corner of the object. Now we'll look at the insert face operation. The same technique is used as for the holes. Begin by creating a box with grid snapping and snap to point turned on. Select the insert volume icon second from the left. Select the rectangle drawing tool. Click the first point of the rectangle inside the top face, then click on the front corner of the box where your cursor is snapping. Dynamically pull the rectangle up to the desired height, then click again to complete the insertion operation. Observe that the rectangle is automatically unioned to the object. Do a couple more insertions. Here, extrude a rectangle from the front face and a cylinder from the side. Our last item in this tutorial is a brief look at deletions, which are located in the last row of the modeling tools. First of all, deleting complete objects is simple. Let's draw a few objects. Select the Delete Object tool, which is the only tool on the bottom left palette. With the Delete tool, click on an object. It disappears. Here is another way to delete an object. With the Pick tool, select an object. Then press the Delete key on the keyboard. And yet there is another way to delete an object. Pick an object again, go to the Edit menu, and select Cut. Your object disappears. You can also delete parts of objects, which we shall do next. Create a box. To delete parts of objects, such as points, segments, or faces, there are two delete tools, Delete Topology and Delete Geometry. It is beyond the scope of this tutorial to explain the difference between topological and geometrical deletions. You can read about them in the manual or just try them both and observe the differences. Here are a few examples of the most useful cases. To delete a single face of an object, select the Delete Topology tool, set Topological Level to Face, then click two edges of a face or inside the face if the Inside Boundaries option is still active in the Pick Options dialog. Observe the result. Undo the previous deletion. To delete a single segment of an object, select the Delete Geometry tool, set Topological Level to Segment, then click on a segment. Undo the previous deletion. To delete a single point of an object, select the Delete Geometry tool, set Topological Level to Point, then click on a point. This concludes the ninth and final segment of the Overview Tutorial.